In other news tonight, it was one of the most controversial elements of the entire Alamo Plaza redesign plan. A glass wall that would close off access to the Alamo after hours, but the plan for the wall has now been shelved. I just think it's a terrible idea. Bear County Judge Nelson Wolf says he's glad the proposed wall around the Alamo, as seen in these renditions, is all but dead and met with Land Commissioner George P. Bush a week ago to express his views. Then uh, the report came out today that they had tabled that uh, proposition for the time being. I hope it stays table. In fact, I hope it ends up under the table. In this letter to the land commissioner, Judge Wolf describes the glass wall as inappropriate and historically inaccurate. It's not even where the wall was before. If you really wanted to be true to historical facts, it certainly didn't have plexiglass. Councilman Roberto Trevino, who is on the committee overseeing the redevelopment of Alamo Plaza, says he's heard the public outcry. We're hearing people that you know they they really want that openness. They want they want uh, you know more more of a of a flow through through the area, and we we hear you loud and clear. He says the wall was never set in stone, and as they move forward into the design phase, they'll do so with community input in mind. We'll do our best to, to make sure that we're communicating as much of this process with the community, working with the community to, to show them uh, how this is coming along, uh, ask the designers to, to make sure that, that they understand uh, how the community feels. I just don't think it's, a, uh, it's, a, it's needed. Trevino says this fall they will be selecting architects and teams of designers who will keep in mind the community's interest in maintaining that open feeling around the Alamo.